um, uh, Anne had and had not done. Um, and uh, it was extraordinary to watch three judges leave the, the courtroom for about seven minutes if that, and, if less, that, and yeah. then return to give a judgment which lasted at least 40 minutes. And the opinion of the public who've been present today is what we witnessed was a show trial and basically a pre-ordained outcome was just delivered to the public. The other clue to this is that uh, there's been a lot of people inside that court, all very quiet, well behaved, talking quietly, um, no problem at all. When we came out of the hearing, suddenly there's a lot of security people, and when we talked to one of those individuals, he said he'd been asked to come down, and obviously they, they, they oh, were sent down. because it was a preordained uh, outcome against um, Anne and Holly. So, 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 so Brian, what you're saying is they, uh, they, they, they went out for seven minutes and they came back and gave their judgment over 45 minutes. What you're saying is that they had already made their mind up even before today. Of course, absolutely obvious. It was theatre. Uh, you, you cannot go through quite a detailed uh, case where, where a lot of information is being presented and discussed. You cannot then go out and, and come to a decision which takes you 40 minutes to deliver. Right. It must be preordained. So in layman's terms... It's a show trial. It was a show trial in order to actually bring the mother and the daughter back into the family court system where already the state has said that this uh, that the girl is vulnerable, the state needs to protect the girl and of course why is the state saying they need to protect the girl? Because ultimately the state wants to shut her up. Okay. In yeah. that court today the central issue of the abuse, the rape and abuse of this little girl was not addressed. No, a young That's lady. All. It was not addressed. It I believe that one of the perpetrators, the alleged perpetrators, was in court. Um, the, yes, in the first first session before lunch. We believe that's the case. Okay. Yeah. I can only say believe that's the case. Okay. But so, if, if you actually analyse what has happened here, of course there's no jury. We have three judges clearly setting out to support a fellow judge. That is obvious. And it wasn't just the appeal is not upheld, the judge was highly critical of the family and what they have tried to do to protect Polly at the end of the day. Okay Brian, I know it's early early days, but what would be your advice to the people that are watching this? What can we all do? What can we all do to help Holly, to help uh, Robert Green and to help um, Anne? Unless the public of this country wake up in sufficient numbers to get behind this case and to say no we are not having the abuse of children condoned by the court unless we get people in vast numbers to stand up and be counted this case this court case sets a precedent that the state can take any child from anybody without any evidence or other cause we are very very close to a Soviet system where children can simply be taken away and if the parents dare to complain they will be put in psychiatric units as the mother has already been. And the fact that today with this case there's no media, there is no BBC, there are no cameras tell you that in Britain 2012 we are watching a judicial system which is utterly corrupt. Running amok. And I am going to use this occasion to say that John Hemming MP has been brave enough to stand up on a stage in public and be filmed saying that in his opinion as an MP the family courts are utterly corrupt and he has called for the head of the family law division to stand down. So now we have MPs admitting that the judicial system in this country is not only corrupt, many of us are now totally convinced that it is so corrupt it will act to protect paedophiles provided they are people of status in, the, in society. If you are somebody at the bottom end of the social spectrum and you are caught being a paedophile, the state will throw everything against you if you are at the upper echelons and you are hidden amongst the senior police, judiciary, military 
whatever the state will protect you. Brian, if I could just interrupt you, when you were talking about the BBC, ITV, etc., the national media not reporting the story, what I have to tell you is that there were three Sky News teams outside, they're waiting for Ryan Giggs. They would not, even with all these people there, they refused to report this. So, so I'd like to just back up what you just said. The national media, they are not putting this across and many other cases, Brian. Well, what we've got to do now is start asking the questions of the media. It's not enough to say the BBC will not report. We need to say who are the people in the BBC who are stopping this. We need their names. We need to know who they are and we need to bring them into the public domain. Let's not, let's not try and expose an organisation blandly called the BBC. Let us identify the people who are protecting the paedophiles by not reporting what's going on. Well, the, BB, the BBC, Brian, uh, you know, risk of uh, teaching my granny out to suck egg, eggs here, yeah. they are taking £3.4 billion from the, the, the licence players of this country yes. every year, and they do not represent us, they represent a minority. Absolutely. And I suggest that the BBC, if you don't pay um, your Sky bill, they close you down. If you don't pay Pay your television license, they'll take you to court. Yep. That is state run TV, Absolutely. and that brings us back to the communism that you were talking to that seems to be practicing. And all these people, all of us people in this country, they are doing something to us that is taking away our freedom of speech. And there are good people still here. Well, We've got them around you at the moment, Bill, right? Bill, the, the thing I will say is that the attack is on all of us. It doesn't matter what status you are, it doesn't matter whether you're professional or unemployed. It doesn't matter whether you are black, white, Muslim, Christian. This state is now attacking its own people. And it is obvious that people in Parliament not only know what's going on, they are part of the child abuse system. We have recently written to Sarah Tether, Families and Children's Minister, and we asked a simple question. When it says in your responsibilities that you are responsible for marketing and commissioning of children's services, we simply ask, what does that mean? It sounds like commercial exploitation of children. She will not answer the question. She has not answered a freedom of information request. She has gone silent. And let's not forget, I'm not now talking about Conservatives or Labour, we're talking a Lib Dem, a Liberal Democrat MP who is hiding to cover up her involvement with what is happening with children. We know from experts amongst the public here that Kent County Council has spent over £100,000 effectively trafficking British children out of the country we know that the total amount of money that barristers and law firms are making from children's cases is about £20 billion a year. Unbelievable. This is massive. And if anybody says to me, David Cameron does not know what's going on, he absolutely knows. Absolutely. Well, I, um, can, can I interrupt yeah, you again? On. I actually um, had uh, uh, captured, if you like, um, Nick Clegg just before the election. And I said to Nick Clegg, what are you going to do about institutional paedophile rings that are operating in this country now? He said, I don't know what you mean by institutional. Absolutely, because they will deny everything. They cannot look at the evidence because if they they look at the evidence, they're hung by their, their own baton. Okay. Okay, get this guy. Here we come. Okay, God bless you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Can I just say, welcome to the Gestapo. Here we have the general public being thrown out of their own court. It is extraordinary, isn't it? Extraordinary. Yeah, all these people here, and now we have three officers. Okay. Let's hear it for Brian Gary. Of course, can we hear it for Holly Gray?